What's up, guys? So check it out. We got a 2024 Model 3 Highland Long Range dual motor. Uh, he purchased our bushings and rear camera arm package uh, because he saw some of our videos, want to improve his steering response, but more importantly, he noticed he has some really odd tire wear. Now, I have a feeling that the reason he has this tire wear is because the vehicle, in typical fashion, just left Tesla with a bad alignment. And he never had it aligned because the car drove straight, but you can see from this tire wear that uh, he probably had a bad alignment. He's never rotated his tires, uh, but he does check his tire pressures often, he said. So take a look at this front tire. You got a lot of inside tire wear here. This indicates to me there's probably some toe out on this. Uh, I actually thought that this might have um, low tire pressure uh, because he has more meat in the middle and less on the sides. Uh, but he says he checks his tire pressure. So we have upgraded his bushings. He's got the MVP front lower control and bearing installed in here. You can see the bearing right there, the MPP bearing. Wonderful. We upgraded his compliance of the poly, hard to see. And to future proof the car, he may lower it. He also got the beautiful blue MVP camber arm. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on the ground, get some initial numbers, see what's going on, but hopefully he won't have this problem moving forward. So guys, don't forget, you guys buy your cars. You can argue with Tesla as much as you want. The cars will drive straight with bad alignments. It's the weirdest thing. Um, the cars are just so technologically advanced that they can do that and compensate for bad alignments. Uh, but it's important that you guys just, just find a reputable alignment shop, go get an alignment done because it will save you a lot of money in tires. These tires only have 28,000 miles on them and they're already done. It's like, not enough. Okay guys? All right guys, so check it out. We have already replaced his bushings, uh, bearings, and his rear camera arms. Now, uh, everything was put back into the factory position so we understand and we know the true center of these arms essentially, or, or the bushing positions. Uh, so these numbers are still gonna be indicative of what the alignment was like out of Tesla. They might be off a little bit because we replaced parts, but check this out. As suspected, look at all this toe out. This is why he had so much inside tire wear on the front two tires. And then in the back, uh, the MPP camera arms are preset to factory length. So you can see that there's a disparity here. So we'll go ahead and get all of this evened up so that his next set of tires will last him a lot, a lot longer. So stay tuned guys, we'll show you the results. All right guys, this one's all done. So we don't have the front wheels towed out anymore. We have them slightly towed in like they want from the factory. Not quite sure why Tesla can't do it right according to their own specs. Uh, we also dialed in his rear camber. So now his rear camber is symmetrical. His tires will be good to go for a long time now on his next set. Uh, hopefully he'll upgrade his suspension, tires and wheels uh, in the near future. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Don't forget, check your alignments. Do not trust that you have a good alignment, even though your Tesla drives straight. Go find a reputable alignment shop like us, and we will take care of you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.